Pietis essay, this is High Priestess Sushodara Singh. Welcome number nine for those of you born on the 9th, the 18th, the 27th. Please add your birth dates and if it adds to a number nine, you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of March 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. We have the Akashic Oracle, the Chakra Oracle, and this time we are using the Angel deck as the central theme as well. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards. From four different decks, you have the Golden Wheel, the Gilded Tarot, the Dragon Tarot, and the Wiccan Tarot. All right, let's see what we have for you, number nine, for March as a central theme. You have four of air or four of swords. Um, this is the card of contemplation. Uh, it's talking about you need to think about taking a break. You need to, you might even think of planning a vacation. Um, you need to meditate to get the answers that you're looking for and before you take a decision you need to let some more time pass okay you'll know best what that is mysticism this card speaks about you being interested in the mystic arts maybe you're looking at um you know trying occult um in a, or you know magic or uh, astrology palmistry um, tarots whatever it is but this will attract you you'll want some more information and it's a good thing uh, just remember when you're practicing don't get so carried away that you forget that your foundation has to be belief and faith in your own self and your path and nothing else <clears throat> knowledge knowledge is important balance is a beautiful card that i respect this card says that uh, well since it is the central theme this means that you will have to balance certain aspects of your life uh, and number nine most of the time uh, we as humans tend to think too much, assume too much, and judge too much. And that's a typical trait that we need to fall out of. That is not the kind of horse you want to ride. All right, the first week of uh, March 2024, number nine, you pulled out the two of swords, the queen of cups, the page of cups, and the nine of cups. Looks like the first week is going to be an emotional week for you. The Two of Swords tells me that you are uh, going to have to make a decision. You already seem to have chosen one, but you're not letting go of the other. You need to take a decision now, number nine, before the universe takes it for you, and it may not be something that you like. The Queen of Cups tells me that you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or dealing with one. This card also means that you're holding on to something so tightly that you're coming across as a desperate and frustrated person. That's not who you are. That's not how you want others to define you. So then why are you doing it? Please start focusing on the process and the result will fall into place. The Page of Cups tells me that you might be receiving or giving out an emotional message. If you ha have received or are receiving an emotional message, then well, take it as it comes. Um, and if you are giving out an emotional message, please make sure that uh, it is being done with the intention of uh, feeling from the heart instead of uh, trying to use emotions as a means to an end nine of cups a beautiful card that we use a lot in spell casting says that a primary wish of yours will be fulfilled something that you've wanted for a while uh, it may be in the back burner now because other things have taken precedence in your life as as you say you know life goes on life moves on and you may have forgotten about it but the universe hasn't and now this primary wish of yours once upon times is going to be fulfilled so good for you the second week of march 2024 number nine you pulled out the moon card the death card has come twice and the devil card so um you have the blessings of the angels as you can see they are all major kana cards the moon card tells me that you could be a paisena dealing with one this card also means that you're not being able to come to an informative decision because you lack information and that is where your confidence needs to uh, kick in. You need to find a way to get that information. And once you do, you will be able to figure out uh, what it is that you need to do and how you need to go about it. The devil card tells me that you could be a Capri or dealing with one. This card also means there is something in your life that is a ball and chain around your ankle. You need to get rid of that. Uh, and you know best what it is. It's not always smoking, drinking and drugs. It's also the other stuff, things that we think won't matter, 
uh, very very few people can channelize it um, and very very and even fewer people can get rid of it but let me tell you it's not impossible if you set your path and set your mind towards uh, getting rid of it it could be negativity comparison pessimism over judging things overthinking things um, being too hard on yourself being too hard on others um, being rash being impulsive so on and so forth okay so you'll know best what it is figure it out what it is and fix it <clears throat> so two death cards have come this means the universe wants you to sit up and take notice of this this tells me that you could be a Scorpio dealing with one this card also means that a belief system of yours will now come to an end it it's almost like your eyes have opened and you realize okay, this is not how the cookie crumbles this is not how it's going to work for me i need to find a way and uh, that is actually going to set a ball rolling just make sure that you are moving in the right direction and uh, you are your, your your instinct is your constant check okay that's all i'm going to say <clears throat> the third week of uh, march 2024 <clears throat> you pulled out the death card again number nine the five of wands the hanged man and the seven of swords interesting the death card has come for the third time so second week you pulled it out twice and third week you pulled it out once looks like if you're not a scorpio dealing with one then it looks like you are ending a belief system five of wands tells me that uh, you have taken a decision and uh, everyone is literally up in arms you were expecting some kind of support but you won't you will not get the kind of support you wanted and it's going to disappoint you um, and that is going to affect you um, well if not everyone is on the same page as you are and you have confidence in yourself and you have conviction and faith in yourself then go ahead and uh, keep moving forward okay charge ahead with no fear like they said the hanged man tells me that uh, you will uh, be facing setbacks and delays remind yourself that they are temporary and they're not permanent okay a delay is never permanent it's just getting the result a little bit later but you will get the result so hang in there right but if you are the one who's causing it please don't seven of swords tells me that uh, either you're deceiving someone or somebody's deceiving you this card also means that you need to change your strategy in a particular aspect of your life because it doesn't look like it's it's going to work any more than what you had planned you seem to have reached the end of your line okay and the last week of march 2024 number nine you pulled out the hermit card the tower card the seven of coins or the seven of pentacles and the ten of swords so the hermit card tells me that you could be a virgo or dealing with one this card also means that you need to self introspect uh, ask yourself those questions which are important and which matter in truth are you moving in the right direction is this where you want to be and if not what do you want to do to change it how do you plan what's your plan like work 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 on yourself work on your aim work on your life and do it quietly and uh, once it's the whole idea is formulated in your mind start taking action the tower card tells me that you were expecting something to end but it will end earlier than what you uh, exp you know what you had thought and uh, that is going to be something that's uh, it's going to be a little shaky and it's going to make you a little uncomfortable but then having had the ground shook beneath your feet which happens to everyone right um, you need to remind yourself that you need to be strong not just for yourself but for the people who depend on your strength right so pull out that energy pull out that courage and be there for them the seven of coins seven of pentacles looks like you have been dipping into your savings and you are now thinking about how to increase your savings um and uh, this is a it's a good card uh, it's um, it's a healthy card thinking about increasing your savings increasing your coffers you know um for whatever reasons uh, is always good you're working on yourself you're working on your finances and you'll definitely gain some traction from it ten of swords looks like you are now in a situation where you uh, feel like you should have listened to your gut and because you didn't listen to your gut that's why you're in the situation you are in now 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 that you're in your situation like this where you decided not to listen to your gut it's a lesson learned which means in future please listen to your gut having said that it's a very low vibe card please don't go there and please don't stay there 
because the universe will then present situations for you where you will keep going through this again and again why do you want to do that to yourself right um, it's a mixed bag number nine that's all i'm going to say looks like there's a lot of work cut out for you i hope march turns out to be uh, decent for you let me know how the month went i think you'll require a wipe switch by the end of march for sure and get in touch with us and let's see what we can do for you i would also highly recommend a personalized reading uh, for which we'll patch you across to one of our readers I will see you in the month of April. Until then, love, light and knowledge to you all. The address is S.A. and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinath.